Uh, breaking news within the last half hour, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has expanded the emergency use authorization for Pfizer's vaccine to include people 12 to 15. That would make around 300,000 Wisconsin children available for the vaccine. The Pfizer vaccine is the first COVID-19 vaccine in the United States authorized for use in younger teens and adolescents. The vaccine had previously been authorized for people ages 16 and older. Shots could begin soon once a federal vaccine panel issues recommendations for using the vaccine vaccine in 12 to 15 year olds. And that news provides a new challenge for doctors this week, convincing some parents their children should get a Pfizer vaccine. Pediatricians are fielding a lot of those questions already. Amanda Quintana found it's something they expected to deal with. Amanda? Yes, doctors here at UW Health are extremely confident in the Pfizer vaccine, and they say that they're excited for 12 to 15 year olds to be able to finally get their shot. They say not only will it help prevent severe disease and illness, but it'll let them be a kid again. The child themselves, uh, you know, to be able to participate in sports or play in the band or um, not have the guilt associated with doing something that they should be doing on a daily basis, um, I think will be a huge relief. Dr. Joseph McBride is a pediatric infectious disease specialist at UW Health. He says the Pfizer vaccine has been proven to be effective and safe in kids. This has been evaluated in uh, tens of thousands of people. Um, and then now given to tens of millions of people. And he says getting 12 to 15 year olds vaccinated is the best way to get us all back to normal. So those classrooms won't have to shut down. Those daycares won't have to close. The sports teams can still participate if people are vaccinated in this age group. But a quick poll on our Facebook page shows there's still a lot of parents who aren't sure if their kids should get a shot. For a more scientific look, a national poll released last week shows about 30% of parents would get their child vaccinated right away. A third said they'd wait a while, and about 20% said they definitely won't do it. Dr. McBride knows pediatricians have their work cut out for them, convincing many parents that it is safe. There's that subset of people who are maybe not complete vaccine refusalists, but maybe vaccine hesitant. And that's the target population that we really have to focus our time and energy to. And I think we have a lot of success with winning them over. He thinks the best way to do this is face to face, like talking to parents about any other vaccine. It'll be really interesting to see how COVID is, you know, played into that because unlike measles, mumps and rubella or chicken pox, a lot of things, this is kind of taken more of a, a, a political um, politic politicization or We've heard experts say that many of the cases in kids are asymptomatic or they're not as severe as they are in adults, and that is true. But we have seen hundreds of deaths for, of kids from COVID, and we're also seeing long-term effects of the virus in kids. And the whole point of the vaccine is to prevent those.